In this video, I want to take a look at the course navigation menu on the left side. As I've moved around between assisting different faculty members, I've noted that many have different sequences. The course structure shell uh, has a setup of home, followed by modules, syllabus, announcements, assignments, discussions. That order can be customized. This is an order that makes sense to, to uh, me for my courses. Modules are usually the first place the students are going to go to see what they need to do next in the course. The syllabus also provides access to assignments. But the default order that comes up in a course looks like this. And in fact, modules, one of the first things a student should probably be looking at to see what they're supposed to do week one or week two is way down the list. Now, some of these things, as you can see, can't be seen and some can be. But right now, the place I'm at is I'm in my settings, third tab, navigation, and these items can be moved and rearranged. You can move them up and down. You can disable them, in which case they'll appear down here. I'm not using Cengage, so it's hidden from my students because I put it on the disabled list down here. I can disable and hide other things depending on the course. Here's my SC130. Again, the most important thing for the students to see will be the modules. That'll get them, tell them what they need to do on a particular day or week. In this case, what they're doing week one, what they're doing week two. Uh, the syllabus is important because it also includes when assignments are due and the course summary, and then assignments, quizzes, and their grades. Some of these things are hidden because there is nothing in them at this time. So this order can be changed. It is not fixed as it might be in some other learning management systems, and you have full control over them from the settings uh, here and then over on the navigation tab. The other thing I'll be doing is, currently, my home page is a page that introduces students to the course. By about the second week, this will not be that important to them. So uh, either on the right, or in my case, uh, at the bottom, I can change this home page that they land on. And I'll switch mine over to course modules, because that's what the students will uh, probably uh, most benefit from as a home page is to land here and they can fold these up and any ones that are folded so let me fold some of these up if I uh, go back to my dashboard and back into the course the ones that are folded up will actually um, auto scroll up and it will drop me to my new to where I'm currently at in the course this is something that the students can do when they're working their way through a course, they can actually fold and unfold these items. Uh, and so it will auto-scroll to the first open uh, block of uh, assignments and links and quizzes and tests. So as you put your course together, you might think about what order makes the most sense for your course on this course menu and adjust as appropriate for the needs of your course and your students. Uh, as I've said, I tend to think of the modules as being important in the syllabus. The students, of course, will want to see their grades. Some of these other items uh, are provide other ways for them to get at things, such as this will get them at their assignments as well, and some prefer to use that. But you can customize this to your own particular needs. Uh, as always, if you have questions, please let me know.